so this is my generic legend deck legend world deck so I have Sylph she's a call cost by paying one gauge she's a size zero when this card enters the field you may put an item from your drop zone into your hand the only item in the deck is a burning bow so she'll let you recycle that we got another size zero actor knights hangman he's a generic creature call cost pay one gauge he's a 3k 3k one crit size one well well dretch dretch i think dresh Trash, I think that's his. Um, don't know what the name is gonna be. This is the name that I got from Wiki, so I'm just going with it. It's a really nice size one, 7K. You know, can't go wrong with that. It's you don't pay to cast it, so that's awesome. So that comes in handy. You just drop it and kill something pretty quick. A generic size one, 4K attack, 5K defense. No crit capabilities, but it's just basically a beat stick wall, I guess, whichever way you want to call it, right? Just because it's four, it's 4k attack with 5k defense, that's why he's in there. And he costs nothing to cast, so that's awesome, right? Then, this is Ice Blade Joker. It's a size 2, 3 crit. 5k attack, 3k defense, and I guess that's it. There's no effects, it's just a, just a normal monster. Now, size 2. This is Lord of the Forest, Zlau Torag, and he has an effect when this card enters the field, put the top two cards of your deck into your gauge. So, that's a way of ramping up your gauge so you can pay for everything else you got. So you obviously you can summon him, put two cards in your gauge, I mean top of your deck into your gauge, right? Use one of them to summon either um, Hangman, which is not a bad one to summon because it's a 3k, 3k, right? And then you can summon one, um, well these don't have no cost, but you know you can summon any of these if you want. Or you can summon her, which also costs one gauge, so you use the two gauge, and then you can get back an item card if you have an item card in the graveyard, especially if the, the item card was in the gauge. If the item card was in the gauge, then you could just essentially get it back, so then it's like a plus one. Because you pay the cost before you cast, and then when you cast, you resolve, get the effect, and return the card back to your hand. Because the card will be in the graveyard before her summoning. So, was that what, where was I at? Okay. Next monster is Armor Dragon Culibre. Call calls, pay two gauge, and put the top card of your deck into this card's soul. This card cannot be called to the center, and it has soul guard and penetrate. Two really, really good effects. It's a 7k, two crit with 5k defense. Not bad, not bad. It's a size two. Steel Dragon Taras Call Pulse 1 Gauge. He's a 7k, 2 crits, 6k, so that's really, really good stats. 7k and 6k, that's really good. This card, Order of Dolahan, uh, it's, it's not a bad card, it's just it's only here because it's part of the world it's like the only spell they have currently right now at this point until so they come up with more support but you know I probably would play something else if more sh if more stuff comes out I'll probably play something different um, but this is not a bad card um, cast calls pay three gauge you may only cast this card if you have six or less life for this turn all wider sakar on your field get double attack um, that's what I got from the week here. Eventually, they'll fix.
fix that and um, signify what is getting the double attack eventually. Maybe legend or something, whatever it's going to be. Um, set spell, one of my favorites. Cast uh, cast cost of one gauge. All monsters on your field get plus 1k power. So this is how you could beef up a lot of your monsters. And of course these stack when you play multiples. So for example, if you cast Lord of Forest, put two cards on top of your deck into your gauge. You could cast two of these because you could pay the one gauge for each. Cast two of these and then he will be a 5k. Damn, that's not that's a really good stat. I didn't realize he had AK stat with two crits. But anyway, he'll be a 5k uh, attacker with 8, 8k defense. That's a really, really good stats. I didn't notice. Didn't notice he had 8k. But anyway, that's awesome. Gambit. I love this card. Glad it's generic because I can splash in every deck. And I plan to. more, more uh, Mainly when they make, create more monsters have effects that when they come into play they do something. And when they come into play and you don't pay to play them. Like for example, you don't pay to cast Lord of the Forest, so that's awesome. You just cast them for free and boom. You get something out of it. Right? And of course return um and Gambit doesn't have a cost, so it's all free. So this is like the main two card combo right here in the deck. You cast that, get two gauge, play Gambit, add it back add him back to the hand, resummon him. Add two, two more, two more to your gauge. So you have four gauge, and you can, you know, guarantee to forward everything else. Especially if this is your first turn move, this could be your first turn move, just so you can, you know, set up your gauge and be ready to cast stuff. You know, like your battlefield and your your burning bow. Um, eventually, in the in the newer version of this, when um, when they uh, more item cards come out for this. This, this deck you know what I might do a a second version of this where I use more generic item cards and, and try that out could um, technically this is supposed to be a weapon deck but you know I'm just doing a generic fighting related deck but it'd be nice to try a, um, an item an item heavy deck see how that works out so I can reuse him to get the gauges to play the weapons, but use and use her to re recycle the weapons. Because the idea is to use him, I'll probably end up putting items into my gauge. Then they'll be sent to the grave for the casting cost of cards like this, or just the casting cost of her, for example. Then her effect will activate, giving me access to the to the items in the graveyard that were sent to the graveyard by being. Um, in the gauge so that way I have access to all these weapons that I can play with and this deck this world does have one weapon already so I'll splash it in and experiment with it later but right now this is just a generic beatdown deck basically with the ability to double attack for the win um, this not only combos good with this you can also combo it with her of course so you can reuse her effect and be able to get two item cards for your graveyard to hand. You can also uh, combo it with with armor dragon so you can give him a, a, a soul for his soul guard in case he somebody link attacks and he loses his soul you could just next turn gambit him and then just recast him and he'll have, he'll have a new soul for defensive purposes. Of course, of course, Burning Bow, my staple uh, item weapon, lets me attack even if I have a monster in my center. And just because I, I'm a, I like I like this buddy and it's nice and generic. It's a buddy I have no problem throwing in any deck because it has 7k defense, so that's not bad, and it's free to cast. You know, so it's a size two. 7k and 3k is not that bad especially when you when you combine it with uh, battlefield military should be 4k if I 
have two on the field should be a 5k attacker with 7k defense so it's like it's generically good plus look at her she looks awesome so she makes a great substitute buddy when i don't have a buddy or don't want to play a buddy and of course the the legend world flag because you got to represent right and that's the end of the deck profile